Right now, first at four, new information about previous structural problems at the site of the deadly daycare crash. Good afternoon. I'm Jim Payne. And I'm Martha Sigalski. Westu has learned the wall where that car plowed through on Goldenrod had extensive termite damage. And the Highway Patrol is investigating whether the car malfunctioned and accelerated into the building. Westu's Gail Pascoe Brown has been digging through documents related to this investigation. And Gail, what have you uncovered? Well, we can tell you right now, as you can see right behind me, the Florida Highway Patrol just pulled up a few moments ago. No doubt they're still investigating this crash. They have the black box that, uh, from that Toyota that slammed into this building, but they still have to download the data. Termites is one thing that is being looked at in this investigation. We did speak with the building inspector about that today. Well, when I was when I arrived on scene, uh, the car went through the front wall and it went to the back wall. Orange County's Deputy Chief Building Inspector says this Toyota Solara traveled about 60 feet the length of the room inside this Goldenrod Kindercare on April 9th. The deadly crash killed a four year old girl and injured 11 others. His inspection report reveals there is extensive termite damage on this front wall of the Kindercare. I didn't see no live termites, but there was termite damage at one time. And uh, there were still studs there, but termites like to eat the studs from inside out. So unless you were doing repairs or renovating, you wouldn't really know unless something unforeseen happens. The inspector also says a Florida licensed architect or engineer needs to assess the damage from the vehicle entering the building and the termite damage for structural stability. He says while the front wall of the 30 year old building has a wood frame, it did have brick about 30 inches up. It would just seem like that brick would stop at something, somehow. If you have enough impact, uh, it can go through anything. So I don't know. I can't determine how quick the vehicle was going. There are no prior inspection reports of the Kinder Care. The Florida Highway Patrol is also checking out the Toyota driven by 61 year old Albert Campbell. Investigators say Campbell was clipped by the driver of this Dodge Durango as the Toyota was turning into the plaza. This is the same type of Toyota involved in a lawsuit last year because of sudden acceleration complaints. It could be human error, it could be mechanical, it could be the physics of the crash, and that's what we have to determine. Now, Orange County Mayor Teresa Jacobs has already asked that ballots or barriers be placed in front of areas like this, like daycare, so that there would be a pushback in case something like this were to happen. Of course, that is not part of state statute. That is not part of the building code. The kindergarten, as you can see, has been boarded up. There's some work that's been done, but of course, it will have to be inspected again before it will be allowed for use. I'm Gail Pascal Brown, live in Winter Park for West 2 News.